Photosynthesis is the process in which plants utilise light energy and use it to break down water and carbon dioxide in order to build oxygen and glucose. And this overall reaction is summarised as carbon dioxide, which they get from the atmosphere, and water, which is drawn up through the roots. Plants use light energy to then convert those reactants into glucose and oxygen. Now photosynthesis is actually a biochemical pathway that occurs in a series of steps with each step in the pathway being catalyzed by a specific enzyme. The biochemical pathways of photosynthesis can be divided into two distinct stages, the light dependent reactions and the light independent reactions. The light reactions convert solar energy to chemical energy. So if you like, the light dependent reactions are actually the photo part of photosynthesis because this is where light energy is actually captured through these reactions. So here's our chloroplast and here is the sunlight energy and of course that sunlight energy is captured by pigments in our thylakoid membrane. So this is the light dependent reactions. And they're referred to as light dependent because in the absence of light these reactions cannot occur. The sunlight energy that's captured by pigments is then stored into two energy rich molecules which are ATP and NADPH. Now NADPH actually carries a pair of energized electrons that it has taken from chlorophyll. In order to replace those two electrons that NADPH has taken from chlorophyll, chlorophyll splits water to take electrons from the water and produces oxygen as a byproduct. So this is the part of photosynthesis where water is used and oxygen is produced and it's reliant on sunlight energy to do so, hence light dependent reactions. The light independent reactions use ATP and the high energy electrons in NADPH to convert carbon dioxide into glucose. So the light independent reactions are actually the synthesis part of photosynthesis because you're synthesizing glucose from carbon dioxide. The ATP and NADPH that fuels the light independent reactions are produced by the light dependent reactions and the carbon dioxide that is synthesized into glucose comes from the atmosphere. So carbon dioxide in the atmosphere diffuses into mesophyll cells and across the membrane of the chloroplast into the stroma where the carbon reactions occur. So the light independent reactions occur in the thylakoid membrane and the light independent reactions occur in the stroma. The light independent reactions use ATP and the energy in the terminal phosphate group of ATP in order to drive the light independent reactions. Now when you break that terminal phosphate off in order to get the energy from ATP, you end up with ADP or adenosine diphosphate. Similarly, once NADPH has given its two charged electrons to fuel the light independent reactions, the molecule that's left over is NADP+. Now both of these molecules, NADP plus and ATP, can then be recharged by the light dependent reaction. So this is wonderful cycle of sort of recharging and using the energy in these molecules in between the light dependent reactions and the light independent reactions. The light independent reactions do not need sunlight to occur. They are independent of the need for light. So as long as there is enough ATP and NADPH inside the chloroplast, the light independent reactions can occur. 
So in summary, photosynthesis occurs in two stages, the light-dependent reactions and the light-independent reactions. In the light-dependent reactions, pigment molecules in the thylakoid membrane capture light energy and produce ATP and NADPH. Chlorophyll molecules split water to replace the electrons that are transferred to NADPH and produce oxygen as a byproduct. The light independent reactions use ATP and the high energy electrons in NADPH to synthesize glucose using carbon dioxide molecules from the atmosphere. And these reactions occur in the stroma, whereas the light dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid membrane.